In this quick video, I'll show you how to calculate the amount of dilutant needed for preparing a solution of specified lower strength. I have three questions prepared for you. Starting with question number one, how much water in milliliters should be added to 300 milliliters of a 1 to 750 weight per volume solution of benzylconium chloride to make a 1 to 2500 weight per volume solution? Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably enrolled in a pharmaceutical program where you are expected to solve these types of problems, not just in the classroom, but in the real world. And to solve this type of problem, you want to start by writing out the formula Q1C1 is equal to Q2C2, which means that the quantity times the concentration of the stock solution or the original solution is equal to the quantity times the concentration of the solution that you're trying to prepare. So in the case for question number one, they're telling us that we have a stock solution, and I'll make a little illustration, here's a beaker. The quantity of the stock solution here is 300 milliliters, and its concentration is one to 750 weight per volume. So I'll write down concentration is equal to, and rather than writing it down as a ratio, I'll write it down as a fraction, one over 750 weight per volume. They haven't told us the units of the weight, but we'll assume that it's grams. So it's grams at the top, and at the bottom we have 750 milliliters. These two values can be substituted in for Q1, C1. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that, 300 milliliters multiply to one over 750 grams per milliliters. Now, if you've been watching my videos prior, in those videos, I usually convert one over 750 into a decimal, and you can definitely do that if you like. But I'll keep it as a fraction for this video. That's equal to, and they haven't told us the quantity of the solution they want us to prepare, except we know that its concentration is much weaker than the stock solution. So in for C sub two, I will write down one over 2,500. One over 2,500. And the units for one over 2,500 will also be grams per milliliter. That's a G. So we don't know the quantity of the solution. And we'll find that out because that holds important information for us to actually find out the amount of dilutant we need. Let's solve for Q2 or the quantity of the solution they want us to prepare. And to do that, we multiply these two values out. So if you have a scientific calculator, it really helps 300 times one over 750. You end up with 0 0.4. So 0 0.4, notice how the units cancel out the milliliters. So we have 0 0.4 grams. That's actually the active ingredient of the stock solution, interestingly enough. So on the right side, we have Q2, one over 2,500 grams per milliliter. And we'll divide both sides now by one over 2,500 with the same units. As you can see, this factor and that factor will completely cancel out, leaving you with Q2, or the quantity of the solution that we are preparing. Dividing 0.4 by one over 2,500 makes 1,000. And G and G, those two units cancel out. So 1,000 milliliters is the quantity of the solution that we're preparing, Q2. From here, we can actually find out how much water, water is our dilutant here, that we need. So we're starting with 300 and we are going to 1,000. That's a difference of 700 milliliters. So we need to apply 700 milliliters to 300 milliliters so that its concentration goes from one to 750 over to one to 2,500. Let's move on to question number two. How much water in milliliters should be added to one pint of 5% weight per volume solution of boric acid to make 2% weight per volume solution. The first thing you'll notice is that the units are different than what you saw in question number one. We're dealing with pints here, which is an imperial unit. I wanna go ahead and convert one pint into milliliters. So one pint is equivalent to 473 milliliters. If you're doing this in a test, you're very likely to get this conversion factor. Okay, so we have one pint is equal to 473 milliliters 
and I'll use this value moving forward. The 5% needs to be made into a decimal, and you can make a percentage into a decimal by dividing by 100%. In this case, it should end up becoming 0 0.05, and it's a weight per volume. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to interpret that in a moment. Let's write down the formula Q1C1 is equal to Q2C2. And I'll write down 473 as the quantity of the stock solution. And the concentration, and don't forget that we have milliliters here. And the concentration is 0 0.05 weight per volume. I'm assuming that the units for weight are in grams per one milliliter. So that's how you interpret 0 0.05. And on the right side, we're looking for Q2, which from that we can find out how much dilutant we need. Its concentration is 2%, 0 0.02 grams per milliliter. If you solve for Q2 using the same technique as in question number one, I'll do this really quickly, 473 times 0 0.05, that's the left side. And then we divide that by 0 0.02, you should get a quantity of 1,182.5. So we need to go from 473 milliliters to 1,182.5. We'll take this value and subtract 473 from that. The difference gives us the answer. 709.5 milliliters is needed as our dilutant to accomplish this new solution. And just to note that the conversion here is important because they did want the answer in milliliters from the question itself. So definitely do this conversion for this question. Question number three reads, how much water in milliliters should be added to 375 milliliters of a solution containing 0 0.5 grams of benzylconium chloride to make a one to 5,000 solution? They really like using this benzylconium chloride from where I got this question. Okay, so the stock solution, I'll dedicate this part right here to question number three. The stock solution is 375, that's Q2, Q1, excuse me, 375 milliliters. Its concentration is actually not given. That's a first. Concentration not given, but we are told the active ingredient is 0 0.5 grams and the solution itself is 375. There's another formula which I like active ingredient is equal to quantity times the concentration so we can find out what the concentration is for the solution by taking the quantity of 375 the concentration being blank and the active ingredient is given as 0 0.5 grams Dividing both sides by 375 milliliters gives us the concentration. So that right there, whatever that equates to 0 0.5 over 375 is the concentration being 1 over 750. My calculator gives it as a fraction, but your calculator might have it looking like that. It's the same thing. and they want a new solution that has that concentration, way more diluted. So Q1C1 is equal to Q2C2, 375 milliliters, that's the quantity, times the concentration of one over 750 grams per milliliter is equal to Q2, which is unknown right now, and the concentration is one over 5,000 grams per milliliter to weight per volume. Let's find out what Q2 is using the same mathematical technique as before. 375 times 1 over 750 divided by 1 over 5,000. And this gives us a quantity of 2,500 milliliters. 2,500 milliliters. So to get this new concentration of 1 over 5,000 and we're starting with 375, we need to add a lot of dilutant to make up 2,500 in total. And that answer is 
125 milliliters of dilute needed to make this solution. So there you have it. That is how to find the amount of dilute needed to prepare a solution of a specified lower strength.